said you cheated. They knew you cheated. And the sad part so is... So why the f*** are we still in this goddamn That's what I wanted to say, but then... Answer, real quick, real quick. No, don't. Don't <laughs> I wanted to really say that like you admitted that you cheated and then I'm gonna be in the wrong for not defending you. You're not, no, because you're, you're in the right. Maybe but, but I don't you know what both to do. jumped girls. on me and I'm gonna jump on you. Nobody jumped on you. Nobody. You jumped on me. We were in our corner and you we- You jumped on me, bitch. Once Never again. Cold. All right, I'm out. Freezing. I'm done. Kelly, please don't I'm go. done. Kelly, please don't I just go. told this guy don't call me a bitch and he's gonna I call me a bitch, so. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you a bitch. Uh, uh, please, Kelly, but I did try the first time. Shut the f up, head now. Like, hold on one second. What Jill, shut the f up. Because it's his show. Please, we think it's Kelly, his show. It ain't. Stop. It's I his love show. you. Shut okay, up. I love you, Kelly. I love you. Um, I'll have, have your man do it. Oh, that was rude. Really it ain't towel? rude because you made him mad. When it's necessary, I'm going to step in. Because I've always been for the underdog, and I've always understood people like Ed. And I think Kelly was going too hard at him, you know? And uh, Liz wasn't taking up for him, so somebody had to. Ed, I can't keep taking up for you when you put your foot in your own damn mouth. But he comes at me. No. They, they're coming at me. And Ed, that come at me. I know again. a lot of people do. And the night's over. I know better. Like, I know when I need to keep my mouth shut, but that probably has a lot to do with my past. I've been bullied all my life, and I've never really had anybody to stand up for myself other than me. So I'm actually completely touched by the fact that Angela's actually sticking up for me. I mean, if Angela has my back, why can't Liz? He was talking to you as a man to man, and you called him a I should have done God wasn't asking that girl. <laughs> no, she's mad at me. But I don't know why, because you were standing up for her and you, so I, I'm Babe, is there any more towels? Y'all go if you want to, goddamn. Put the bubbles on. I, I'm, I'm, ty I'm tired of being y'all's mean mom. Are you leaving? Seriously, oh, Liz? I don't. I mean, I got water splashed in my face. I didn't mean to splash in your face. I was doing no, it's good, but too, but like, we can't, like, exactly, like, I need to defend my man. I get it. You did, you but did like, good, we can't, but we can't good. talk about, like, oh, he called me well, a cheater and then you admit to cheating. Like, we all gotta own up to our own. I don't think Kelly should be attacking Ed, but Ed does tend to run his mouth a lot. And Ed's gotta learn his consequences. This is one of the reasons why Ed and I are here. He doesn't learn from any of his mistakes, and he should not be defended right now. Just, you two talk. Okay. No, you talk with your, your I can't talk, and I'm sorry, I love you, Andrew, but you speak over everybody. Let's oh, go. don't go there, mother <laughs> I call you a because I will hey, straighten your now. I, my got the right one now. Uh, no, 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 don't apologize, you got the right one now. Don't you, don't walk away now. I'm not Ed, I'm not Ed. I took up for you and Ed. Do not. I am being very calm. Listen, if you're gonna run that mouth, you back it. I don't deserve what you just said. I ain't said talk to you. I that just... was Molly. No, okay. that was Molly and Kelly. So why don't you walk your brave and tell them that and see what Molly tell you. Don't ever talk to me like that again. Dad. Angie. No, go to. The only one who's mad right now is you. No, you run your mouth and I'm not Ed. I'm, I'm not, not running my mouth. I'm not it. I when did I f***ing over f***ing talk to you? I when did I it. over f***ing talk to you? I sat there and let you talk. I sat there and took up you. When did I f***ing over f***ing talk to you? Okay. Now, you cry now. cry now. Cry now. Cry now, Nobody's crying. I took up for you, bitch. Now, f*** that We've got guests here. Let's go. You run your mother I'll jump in orange. I'll jump in orange, mother. Ed says some up, up, man, but I understand him. I really do. And I was trying to stop him. That's why I splashed him, and he got in her eye. I was saving her man when she should have been saving him. And then Liz gets out the pool for no reason, and she turns around on me. Like what? Oh my goddamn husband. It's Ooh, it's me. Today, I'm going to Angela's 
room because there was a situation that happened at the retreat last night and I need to address it with her. Angela has some issues with how she manages her emotions. Her anger has served her well and how she's moved through life. And sometimes people are most afraid of what life would be like without their armor. Hi, good, Hi morning. good morning. Got some coffee for you. Oh, thank you. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you doing this morning? How'd you sleep? Um, I slept good. Uh, so what brings you here? Oh, I hurt my are butt. Are you all right? Yes. Yeah. So what brings you here? <laughs> Just want to check in with you, find out how the retreat's going. Just get a good sense of your experience so far. I, I really, I, I'm really learning like so quickly. Well, that's good that you found the retreat to be beneficial, you know, because it's important that we, you know, represent ourselves well and we have a good experience, not only for us, but there's guests here. And last night, you know, there was a ruckus and, you know, I heard things were not level 10, they were level 12. I understand you were, you were a part of that. Who oh, ratted me out? Well, you know, Angela, I'm staying here at the resort too, and I'm in touch with the, the resort oh, staff because we do want to make sure this is a pleasurable, great experience for, for everybody. Dr. Janie telling me that she needs to speak to me about the incident that happened last night makes me feel again that I'm the bad person. But you come after me, I'm gonna come back stronger. So before we go into, you know, the specifics of what happened with Liz and Ed, you know, I'm, I'm only here to, to talk to you. <sighs> okay, what was wrong with my behavior last night? Like, mm -hmm. what do you see was wrong? Well, you tell me, Angela. I mean, what do you think was the challenge that occurred last night in your behavior? I just get sick of Liz playing the victim. When Liz made that comment, like, um, all night you've talked over me, it just it reminded me of Michael, like, mm -hmm. you just lying dead in my damn face. I'm not taking it. I took it a whole year with my husband, lying, cheating, especially if you're right in my face telling me I've done something I ain't. I do go off because I'm, I'm not taking it from no one. But Michael's lied so much, he's traumatized me. So what, it's her what, tone and her body language yes, and what she was and, saying and, and, that it, was it made triggering. Me go on defense. Mm -hmm. You know, I worked at the prison. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, something that I always take with me everywhere, too, mm -hmm. you know? Um, Mm -hmm. I can't help that. And maybe that's my problem. That's a beautiful thing about your personality, Angela, is that you do stand up and you are very protective. But sometimes our most beautiful qualities, there's two sides of the coin, right? There's another side of the coin, and sometimes it comes from a, a pain point. I have a problem with trying to express my words. I don't have the comfort everybody has. I don't have no one to, to help me stop. When I get upset. Because it's difficult. You're here in a couple's retreat, and part of your couple isn't here. Long distance relationships are hard, especially with the amount of time the two of you have been apart. Angela doesn't have to live her life on guard and ready for someone to come at her. There's other choices that can also help her to deal with conflict in a more constructive way so that she can have loving relationships and that she doesn't feel like she's so alone in life because she also is not so much focusing on keeping things at bay, but she can also let love in. So when we know with, with anger, it's a secondary emotion. And as we're talking about earlier, there's something that triggers us to have an angry response. And we talked about what people are saying to you, what they're trying to project onto you. So one of the things I would like for us to work on during this retreat is, is anger. And do you agree that that's something that we can work on? If it makes you happy to um, work on it with me, yeah. <laughs> Today's session with Dr. Janie, she's right. Never thought of it like that. She's right. And my triggers sometimes make me be too aggressive. And that's the same aggressiveness with Michael. And maybe 
I have some fixing to do too, maybe. <laughs> I love Michael, and I don't want our only communication to be just screaming and hollering. I want to learn a new way, a better way to communicate instead of getting upset. I have to if we're going to fix this. <laughs>